I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm so over this winter. Like my bones hurt, my legs are freezing. It's raining right now. We've been in Toronto for like three months. I just want to yeah. get out of this place. Wouldn't it be so good if we just like snapped our finger and like appeared somewhere else? What? Whoa. <laughs> Yo, dude. where did you just take us? Dude, I don't know. I just what literally, did all I did was. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not here again. Yeah, I don't want to be here. Let's go back. <laughs> Where is he? Maori! Yo! Yo! Maori. Yo! Yo! What's yeah. going on? This is so trippy, man. Look at all that! Look where I we know are! What's happening? This is tripping me out. Jeez, look at that! <sighs> okay, yo, dude, like, I, like this is this is just nuts. Grand Canyon. We're at the Grand Canyon! Can you believe this? Oh, this is awesome! I can't wait to show you guys what we're up to. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> Do our first drone scene. Yeah, we're about, I'd say, in the outback. 45 minutes away from Grand Canyon. So before we get into the actual national park, I want to drone as much as we can because obviously it's illegal to do that. And I hope you guys enjoy this scene because it's gonna be good. So Brody is our driver, baby driver. And now he's over there. What's happening everyone? We're in Arizona for a full week. And we're shooting with the amazing car company Lexus. We have so many awesome things in store for you guys. We're gonna be checking out Zion National Park, Antelope Canyon. We're in the Grand Canyon right now. I mean, this is so surreal. And the beauty of it is that I've had the chance to come here before, but now I get to rediscover it in a whole new perspective. Last time we were here, you got a sweet shot of me. Oh yeah, I got a really cool shot you of me. You got Maori. a sweet shot. Similar to like this area right here. I, I got a standing on a rock. If there's one thing I've learned over the years as a photographer, it's that you really have to diversify the type of content you shoot. I mean, being here in this environment right now is very different than where we were just literally seconds ago in Toronto. But, um, but when you are here in these type of places, you have to make the best use of the environment. And this amazing lighting conditions that it provides are unreal. I mean, during sunset time, the Grand Canyon really lights up and you get these incredible textures and colors that kind they, they just become a lot more vibrant and you know you start to see this place come out and be more visible in a different perspective. Maori is going to be shooting a lot of video content throughout this week. We're going to show you guys really interesting perspectives on how we go about automotive photography and automotive videography. It's going to be fun. You guys excited? I'm excited. Are you excited, bro? Yeah, I let's do it. Let's yeah. filming our first location and we found this really cool lookout point of the valley so I could position the car right here at the end of the edge and then kind of get some vantage point shots and other detail shots of the vehicle. I also managed to find this thing on the ground. I'm gonna use this. It's hard to get elevated shots other than using my drone but I want to start off with trying to get some depth of field so I'm gonna play around with this and see if I can create some interesting compositions out of it. And here's Alan 
Tom's new drone. Yeah, this is the new drone. Literally yesterday we were at the Grand Canyon and I saw this kid trying to drone the canyon. I was like, yo, bro, you shouldn't be doing that. Obviously it's a national park. We got into talking, I told him that my drone crashed and I was just like, yo, can I buy your drone off you? And lo and behold, I got a new drone. Cost me $750 American. I might have gotten ripped off. We didn't have service, so I couldn't really check the price differences, but you know what? In time of need, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's test this baby out. So here we have it. Our baby. C300 Mark II. Look at that beauty. Oh my god. Isn't that beautiful? Now he's in his happy place. Mm -hmm. We also got this guy. Look at this nice piece of glass. 3105 Canon CNE. And we have a T stop of uh, 2.8. So you got a nice depth of field. Good lens. Horseshoe band. This is gonna be exciting. Where's Brody? Brody, come over here, man. Brody's gonna make us the finest coffee. Bro, up there. That's Horseshoe band. I mean, the view. Yeah, we got. The <laughs> we brought the C300 with us We're just gonna in be case. With that one. Okay, Abby. <laughs> this is Maori's first time working on it. I was gonna bring my drone with me, but there's way too many people. Last time I droned around this many people, they kept coming and touching the buttons. I don't know. It's the thing they do. Yeah. This guy's walking with the C300 and he's so, get it, get it. A lot of people are looking at me awfully weird because I'm standing right here on the edge. No, don't do it, don't do it. The battery just died. No. Well, at least okay. we got this guy. Well, at least we have this beast right here, right? I got you, man. Yeah, yeah. respect, bro. Oh, yeah, here. There you go. <laughs> but did you know how to use a camera though? Like I know you know. I don't even make, think this is on. I understand you know how to make coffee, but this is like another language for you, right? Uh, it's the same language. Is this Spanish? Just a jungle, eh? What is album? Hey, this is. I like to make photos. Now Spanish. Uh, I want to make more photos. Now French. But I like it very much. Um, I like the photos. I like the photos. I like the photos. I can try. Yo, yo, okay guys. This is this is unreal. This is definitely one of the coolest places we've been to on our trip so far. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely amazing. And you got people just everywhere. Look at that. That's insane. Maori, do you know God's plan? I do. What the hell is this, bro? That's my plan. <laughs> That's my bro. So guys, see that vignette around it? That's what happens when you put like a cine lens into a full frame camera. <laughs> So while Brody's making uh, the coffee for me, I want to talk to you guys about really bringing the right gear with you when you travel. Canon hooked us up here with the C300 and we have the 30 to 105 on it. This is probably the best kit that you could possibly bring in order to shoot any cinema film content. Um, it's really run and gun. It allows you to be versatile in the types of shots you take. And not only that, having extra gear with you, like your 1DX, allows you to create not only video content, but still images. And that's a huge component of telling a story. And whenever you decide to explore a country or visit a new place, I think it's always nice to diversify the type of content you have. So think about the gear, think about the content you wanna shoot, go out there and discover the amazing places that you go to. Where's my coffee at? <laughs> Ultimate test? So good. So good. I want you guys to try this, but it's kind of impossible. Let me try it. So good, man. 
Yeah, clearly Brody has a lot of friends here. You tell me your name. Zhong Jian. Zhong Jian. Because I I in Yunnan. Yunnan. We just got to Lower Antelope Canyon. It's about. We actually woke up today at 7 a.m. We wanted to come a little bit earlier to see if we can get tickets because we didn't book anything online. Supposedly they sold. They sell out like crazy here. Brody, are you excited, man? Very excited. What are you looking forward I'm to? I'm looking forward to seeing the big light beams and sand being thrown into the air. Did you just hear there's no light beams on there, bro? <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> So we just met this group of awesome people that are volunteering to jump in the water for us. It's a little cold. I might dive in. I'm not sure. Brody is considering it. I'm going to drone them running into it. It's going to be pretty epic. You guys ready or what? So, you, so you've been camping here for like two days now. Yeah. How's the water? Cold. It's a little cold. Italy. really cold. <laughs> how, did, how did this happen? <laughs> Finally made it to Zion National Park in Utah. This is my first time here. Brody's first time. Maori's first time in the United States. Right? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm no. kidding. So this place looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna shoot some car scenes if possible. You know, really try to capture the content that really exemplifies how it feels to be on the road, traveling through, and especially if you're discovering new places like for us, this is a new place. We've never been here. There's a lot to look out for, a lot to expect. Brody's already out there scoping his way through. We're gonna start shooting, show you guys some behind the scenes. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. These what are those? <laughs> These I bought at Decat Decathlon for like 12 euros back in the day. If you look over here, you can see there's a waterfall that's actually dried out. I'll try to. And it seems like there's some calcium deposits on there. I'm not exactly sure. Yo, what is this? Oh, it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <little shit. laughs> So well, Brody's our, our official Uber driver this week. Where would you guys like to go? Maori's just <laughs> plunging away with these apple, I mean the bananas. And then we got the beautiful C300 in the front seat. I swear that camera keeps calling shotgun. I'm gonna lose my shit. You guys see that? There's like a gorilla head right there. So guys, it's come to our last day here at Zion National Park. It's been an absolutely incredible experience. We got to discover so many interesting parts of Arizona and a little bit of Utah. And I just want to end off by saying, 
you got to get out there with your friends and really explore new places and try to create content that you otherwise might not be able to in the places that you're located. And then one thing that I've noticed along this trip is that scheduling and planning really helps out a lot in the long run because you're able to focus your ideas and your thoughts and really come up with the best creative content you can. Dude, that C300 has been beautiful. How is it treating you this trip? I actually love working with this camera. For those who are not familiar with this, this is one of the best cameras that Canon has, C300 Mark II. As you can see, it's just very, very easy to like, you know, operate. You can just go handheld like this, you can like take it like that, twist it for Instagram stories, boom. And then it's got EF mount, so it's so easy to just change with uh, all the lens that we have. We only use Canon, so it's just been very, very easy. It also has built-in ND filters. As you can see, it's super bright out here. So that's one of the things that I've been using the most. It shoots 4K internally. It takes your content to a whole other level. And that's a good point because when you're traveling, especially going to new places, you want to take the best equipment you can possibly. And it always comes to budget too. I mean, the C300 is a professional camera. Not everyone can afford it, so you have to be cautious of your budget. But there are great cameras out there with, uh, within a good price range for anyone who's looking to film. But on another low, I want to kind of talk to Brody about his experience here. And I think that's something that may be different than what mine or Mari's have been because we've been in these areas before. So let's try to find Brody. Brody, where you at, man? My experience being here in Arizona and Utah, kind of like what you were saying, I've never been here before, so it, everything is fresh to me. When you go to a new environment, you're inspired by completely different things and your, your creative work is going to reflect in the outcome. And so I think you're going to be happy, your client's going to be happy, and I know I'm happy. <laughs> there you go, guys. So I couldn't have said that better myself. And on that note, I have to end this video. Our time here in Zion National Park is up. We got to make our way back to Phoenix. And it's been an incredible experience here. We got to see so many interesting things along the way. We went hiking, we went down these winding roads. We got to meet some really interesting people. We even discovered a really interesting aspect of being in a team and taking on the project, you know, individually as creatives and seeing how we can put our spin on it. So I'm gonna end off the video. It's been unreal. So I'll see you guys all next week. Peace.